Hello Taurus, this is going to be your monthly reading for April 2023. Take only what resonates, leave the rest. So, if you want to know anything about me, it, everything is down below in the description box. In my link tree will be my Shopify account if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading or seeing my crystals or handmade whatever I'm making that day. <laughs> feel free to go take a look or if you want to follow me on any of my other social media platforms okay so we're going to find out what spirit wants you to know for the month of April all right spirit what does Taurus need to know for the month of April Alright, so far I do see the Nine of Pentacles coming out. I want to get the overall for the reading though. Hold on one moment. Okay. Bottom deck energy we have is the Five of Wands. So there is going to be some challenging times for April. Challenging times, but a lot of growth. You could be dealing with people who are trying to compete with you, or you could just be dealing with chaos, turmoil, and all that other bullshit, right? So just know that anything that you go through, it's, it's a learning and a growth experience. Nothing is for nothing. So... Whatever it is that you're going through, it is for your greater good. It is for growth. And it is for you to learn from it. Okay? So, you're going to be challenged, first and foremost. With the Nine of Pentacles, you are working on something that you want security, you want abundance, you want something solid. You're working hard. Could be working towards a promotion, but it's just you working hard to get to your wish fulfillment. There is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is you moving on to something that is better for you. It's like you're realizing that something didn't work or you're realizing that in order for me to grow, I either need to move forward, leave it entirely behind. But this could also be about behavioral patterns. Moving on from a certain behavior, um, moving on from a specific mindset. Um, for some of you, this could be you literally giving something another chance, but starting it new. So you have to move on from a certain situation and say, okay, we need to start over again and do this. That's for some of you. But for others, it, it definitely is about moving on with a different mindset. With the seven of wands popping out, you have the determination to make something happen. I'm determined to move on from this. I'm determined, you know, to take action, have drive, have motivation. <clears throat> we have the knight of wands. You could also be dealing with the person who's kind of sometimey, sometimes, you know, in and out. But this person is learning right along with you. And this is what could be challenging you. There is a person who is learning, even if they have an immature mindset, they don't want to stay in that mindset. The King of Pentacles is coming out, and I feel like that that could be your energy. You could be dealing with somebody who is like, okay... 
have more patience with me because I have more to learn. With the King of Pentacles coming out, that's courage and that's commitment. But that could also be you looking forward to your future and saying, I'm going to be strong and solid on this and I'm going to stand my ground. So I feel like that there is going to be some kind of um, boundaries set. Strong boundaries are going to be set. And there's no moving them once you place them down. It's like, look, you can go ahead and do all your in and out, up and down bullshit, right? But if you're not about committing to this, and if you're not about making this solid, then you can go on about your business. And this is, it's like you're moving on from giving chances to a certain situation. We do have the shadow. The shadow is about self-empowerment. It's about ambition. Um, it's you... Getting in touch with your insecurities. If you're always li li living in a space of insecurity, you're trying to move out of that. You know, because what's causing your insecurity? It cracks me up when people say, you have trust issues. No, I've just been around people who have lied to me. You know, um, you have abandonment issues. No, I don't have issues. I've had people manipulate me and then leave me when I give my heart you know like there's there's a whole reason why you are the way that you are and I feel like that you are looking at why do I do this why do I you know put up with this why am I constantly around people who don't understand I think you're you're going to or you have been doing a lot of self-reflection and getting in touch with your own shadow work and it's empowering you to be a better person and to recognize what it is that you truly want in your life. We do have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, um, if you're dealing with the person who has been in and out, been lacking and maybe they don't, you know, they haven't been present or, you know, they've just been kind of time wasting you, this person could possibly turn into this queen of wands. Having a lot of confidence, determined to make something work, having a lot of passion for it. And it's just as challenging for them as it is for you. So there's a sense of you awakening and wanting to be a better person, wanting to be stronger for yourself. And you're empowering somebody else to do the same. But they want to do it with you. It's like they don't want to do it with somebody else. They don't think that anybody else would be able to empower them the way that you do. But this whole thing about empire, empowering another person. You cannot make another person happy. You cannot empower another person. You cannot make them more knowledgeable. They have to, they have to want to work for that themselves. But there's something about you that gives them the energy to do it. Nobody else sets that fire under their ass like you do. So they know that. So they want to go through the challenges with you. You know, there's something that I saw in, I can't remember what movie it was. There was like a really beautiful movie where the woman looked at the man and said, out of everybody on this world... I am so glad that I get to face all of my obstacles with you. And it's a choice. You know, you start looking at certain things and it's like, if I had ended up with anybody else, would they have empowered me as much as this person has? And it gives you like a whole newfound love for this person, right? I feel like that's how your person is looking at you. Like they know that they've been immature they know that they have fucked up. They know that they could have done better. But they cannot imagine anyone else challenging them as much as you have. And it's the whole thing that they want to be challenged. They want to grow. It could be truly a case of them not knowing how. But they don't want to tell you that. 
<laughs> they're not going to want to tell you that. There's a whole thing here about you giving this person confidence to move forward and not in like a self or not in like a codependent type of way either. You want this person to shine for who they are and you want them to choose you to be in their life. But there is a sense of an immaturity going on and you are putting a boundary on it and you're like, I'm moving on from this behavior. I, I want more. I want to work for more. And that's what they're without you. And you're, you're looking at that shadow for independence. You know, there's a rebirth going on here. It's like something that you thought that you needed. You realize I don't need it. I may want it a whole hell of a lot. But I don't need it. And in order for me to align with what I need to align with, I need to shed this and let it go. If they can't grow, if they can't grow up, then you're going to leave them exactly where they're at. And that's the whole challenging part. You're challenging yourself. You're challenging them. But most of all, you're challenging yourself to realize you don't need anything or anybody else in order to get or gain your happiness. Okay. So we also have the Queen of Swords, perception and truth. Looking forward to the future, you're clear. You know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you want to go after. We also have the Page of Wands. A lot of discovery. I feel like that you could be challenging this person and you're challenging yourself to tap into new dimensions of yourself. And it, it could be something exciting. You know, let's explore each other with each other. You know, like you explore yourself and tell me what you like. This person really wants to know what you find out about yourself and they also want to share with you what they find out about themselves and this is what's going to make the bond even stronger between the two of you it's a whole new sense of freedom of being able to be who you are and to love each other for being who you are without all the fuckery and the games and all that other bullshit that you're putting a stop to we have the world. This is very fulfilling. And there is a sense of a celebration of you building something new. Okay? It's like a whole new world. Every time I see the world card, I think of Aladdin. You know, a whole new world. Don't get me to singing on here. Yeah, just don't do that. <laughs> don't get me to singing on here. But it's like a whole new world. Like, literally. And you're seeing it from a whole new light. You're seeing it from a whole different perspective of this person. Now having confidence to tell you what they want to tell you or tell you what they need to tell you. Okay, because you're placing those boundaries of how serious things are for you. When it comes to the six of wands, there is a sense of a personal victory. We also have the two of swords popping out. Making decisions of where this is going to go. You know? There is a whole new understanding that's being taken, you know, um, that's taking place here. So it could be you just deciding to go side by side as friends. This could also be a love connection. But either way, you're choosing to go through these obstacles together because there's something about the other person where it just connects and you get to places with each other that nobody else can reach. You may like other people. They may like other people. But nobody gets them like you do. And nobody gets you like they do. It's a whole sense of home there. But just because you have that sense of home and because they understand everything about you and you understand everything about them, that is not... A free pass to step over boundaries. Unconditional love does not mean 
taking somebody's bullshit. Okay? And you're letting that be known. So we also have the Four of Wands here, which is sense of comfort. Um, Four of Wands is also... It could be a marriage card, <laughs> but it is a sense of a celebration of ascending from one level to another. So if you're, um, maybe you're just a regular dating couple right now, but then you ascend to being engaged or then you ascend to getting married or whatever the case is, there's a, there is an elevating element here. It could just be a deeper understanding as well. Okay. We also have a, an awakening. It's a definite rebirth. It's a sense of renewal. It's a sense of enlightenment. Understanding each other. Seeing where the other person is coming from. Alright. So we are going to pull some oracle cards. I got my cards a little bit messy here. Because I'm burning incense there sometimes you just have to have a messy altar <laughs> we're gonna pull some oracle messages to see what spirit has to say what advice what advice do you have for my Taurus babies spirit What advice do you have for my Taurus babies? Okay, so we're not taking half the deck. We will take these two because they expose themselves. All right, Spirit. <laughs> what else? What other, other advice do you have for my Taurus babies? Excuse me. Yeah. Hold on. I'm about to take a drink. Sorry for the sound effects. Okay. So we have unfamiliar territory, which is not a surprise. We have the moon, which is trusting the process. And things are still a mystery. We have passage. Remember you had the four of wands? That is the right to pass. You know, that's elevating. That's the right to passage. That is something um, you're elevating from one side to another. We also have bound. This also, it's not necessarily a bat card. I feel like you were f feeling this way before you placed your boundaries. I feel like you're breaking free from this. This is a reminder to still keep your boundaries in place. I do feel like that, um, that's kind of harsh for spirit to say it like this, but you can tend to be wishy-washy on your boundaries. It's like one minute you're like, okay, you're not going to do this. And then you kind of let things slide. And then you get mad because they should know better. Like Taurus, they really should know better. But they test you. So I feel like that this bound card is a reminder for you to keep your boundaries in place and to not tie yourself in <clears throat> to a toxic, a toxic situation. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're asking too much. We also have wisdom. Owls could be owls and whales or fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Could be spirit animals. Look those up on Google. So that way, you know, what spirit animal, you know, what these mean for you. So I do feel like with the unfamiliar territory, remember I was telling you that, you know, this person has a new sense of it, of um, wanting to explore themselves and you and, you know, where you're going to find things together, like, 
they're really excited about this. Like they, they really get excited about this. You're excited about it as well. It's like, we're going to the next level. We're doing the damn thing. And you're excited. <laughs> but you could also still be fearful. Um, of the unknown. So this is a card reminding you, don't live too much in your fears. Take the chance. It may be unknown, but it will reveal itself. Right to passage here. Okay. So you are ascending to the next level. And with the bound card, it's like, don't get too caught up. <clears throat> Make sure make sure you're setting your standards and make sure that it's not entirely about them. There could be some of you who are in a situation where you feel like you have to be there. Um, but I don't feel like you're there against your will your will. I think that you could possibly be there because you might feel a sense of duty you want to make sure they're okay you feel like that there's a tie that you have to be there um that's for some of you but just know that there is a learning experience coming from this because we do have wisdom okay you don't have to be anywhere that you don't want to be you may feel like that's what you're doing sometimes. But with all this other activity going on along around it, do not lose the sight of this being a learning experience. So that is what I have for you for the month of April, Taurus. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you resonate. And have a great month and I will talk to you soon. Bye.